Welcome Leo to your monthly love reading for August of 2018. So as we look into the beginning of the month, this is a different style that I'm going to do. All right. And I feel I do want to wish you a happy birthday. That's what I feel. I feel that you are. <laughs> um, many of you may have a good time. Some of you might not have such a good time because the energy can always be, you know, focused on you. Um, it's the first house. Your first house is usually all about you. Um, sometimes you do have uh, fun, you know, on your birthday at times. It just depends on what you do. Well, a lot of times that energy is internalized. So uh, you might be even self-critical. Um, sometimes critical if others are not around. But it's a very uh, independent sign. It's almost um, that, that first house where if things you know need to change, they need to change and if it's not really happening you're kind of down on yourself you're down on your partner if it's not around your love potential because you would like them to be there to support you and that's some of the theme that's going on i feel this month it's where as you start out the month the first week i feel like the communication and what you feel for somebody is so tense that you just don't want to be bothered in some way um something kind of happened where i feel for a lot of you you wanted to leave someone behind a lot of you have left someone behind but that energy is still following you you know it's on you like glue and you would would like it to be you know uh melted away like pulled away thrown away um you want it to be gone and i feel like someone is almost escaping in some way from you this has happened to some and i feel like you know that they were either talking to someone else that they had some other love on the side or that they're still dealing with an issue like that and they have either moved on to someone else maybe an ex-partner that you have been dealing with and that's breaking their heart because they're communicating with that person and they might even still have you on their mind um, I feel like that's something that's going on and even if you do try to communicate with them they don't respond or they don't want to be around you or something like that or seen with you something is going on in that way where both the energy is kind of scattered so I feel like um, that person the one that you're dealing with look this is for those who, of you who are in a relationship married or you're connected to somebody and getting to know them so I feel like that person is still heartbroken y'all two are still getting over some grievances and I feel like it's a process of healing so um, you might feel like you don't want to be bothered or talk to anyone maybe in the first week of August unfortunately but that's the energy and how it might be coming through for some all right now and I feel where what's changing for you is the second week of August it's like a theme here for a lot of you um, sometimes when you disconnect with, from somebody it's for different reasons as I always you know try to let people know clearly but I feel like you and this other person say if you've been dealing with an ex-partner I feel like sometimes it can be a good thing you come back you work things out you reconcile but some some of you get back with that person and there are a lot of financial issues that happen because maybe both of you get lost in each other maybe both of you kind of or one or the other kind of gets a bit lazy or a bit bored or a bit stuck in too many arguments and then too many bad spending habits things like that go on and i feel like um getting distracted in that way is something that might happen with you or it could happen with them and the reality of that is there and sometimes when y'all break up or split that partner goes to someone or there's like this new love opportunity that's there but they get indecisive about you as well so they might come in they might go back might come and go back something like that might happen with you as well so i feel like a lot of you are definitely still working on detaching from someone where you know it's not working but that person is all is as well this is a new love interest they're dealing with the next partner as well for some of you out there and they're having a hard time um trying to figure out what they actually want whether or not they want to open up to you again maybe give you a tenth try um ninth try or second try um but trying to see because sometimes you can go in and out many different times and sometimes you know the universe will allow you as many times as it takes for you to realize something is not working for some so i feel like there's this uh this struggle this battle for some where even your partner might even have some plans and ideas and things on their mind but they're not following through with it so it keeps both of you stuck with the same kind of um situation over and over again so those things need to change i feel in some way um so i feel the second week definitely trying to uh, work on you know personal growth and stay with something that you really like when it comes to career um and working through the right things of taking care of unfinished business closing out an older chapter and opening up to a new person and allowing them to open up to you all right and 
and sometimes it might just be some of this might be based on sexual um, interaction with you and another person not really emotionally so you got to be honest about if that's something that you're dealing with all right so through the third week of August I feel again you're resting you're trying to relax you're trying to bide your time maybe you know last week you burnt yourself out a bit by you know trying to work so much but it didn't really lead to anywhere so you're feeling down on yourself it's like dang you know should I even focus on this relationship should I give energy to this job anymore um because I'm not really like it it's not really leading to anywhere remember Mercury is in retrograde so I do feel like someone from your past could be coming around older issues slower movement when it comes to progress with career new ideas and things like that this is a love reading but these things are coming out strong with your energy so I feel like the person that you're dealing with is also um they could be around you at times right having fun or the fact that they disconnected from you or kind of broken away from you they could be around you and kind of manipulating you um because they know the effect that you might have on them so some kind of revenge or um whatever it might be immaturity that might be coming from their end now some of you might play this game as well so they could be trying to get you back from something that you've done with them it just depends there but i feel like it's um it's not good it's not healthy it's not fair for people to do that in any form of fashion so um you know sometimes it takes growth it takes a lot of lessons for that person to learn some things for you to grow through them and kind of decipher you know how to get through to this person that you don't want those things to continue to happen so um i feel like be aware of that i feel sometimes if you're connected with somebody and they're being open to you and they might play these games of trying to hide or like they're not into you but they are you know that's how it might be coming through to some of you out there so if they're manipulating anyway don't you know tolerate that kind of stuff all right so it's not healthy but i do feel in the third week there is some energy especially when it comes to someone that you may have disconnected from where there was a you know a temporary breakup but they're trying to act like it's completely over but it might not be so um keep that in mind for some but emotionally distracted getting some rest really and then kind of maybe sometimes you might even call out of work you might be laid off in some way you might be looking for a new job or something that keeps you focused again that seems to be a theme of the month so far and as you get to towards the end of the month i feel that there is uh this energy where a lot of you are still having this habit of spending a lot of money um you need to focus on that you need to make sure that you're trying your best um not everybody is going to be able to be perfect when it comes to that but if you have plans if you have goals you know try to consolidate your money try to put things away try to save up a little bit here and there you know try to remove some patterns of maybe spending things on um, unhealthy things that you don't really need um, if you are going to do that maybe you need to work a little bit harder to so that you can spend a bit more you know those kind of things might be coming through I also feel that if you know that you're with somebody that when you two come together it's always this financial issue that's very dark and very heavy you know and it's just not really healthy for you that might not be the partnership for you so you have to be you know honest about that and i feel like that person is having issues with making their own plans as well and they're making a choice to come around to you to travel to you to relocate to do different things so they might even be thinking about a divorce they might even be going through a divorce but then you know or breaking up with the connection um but i still feel like there's this uh indecisiveness for some so to me this month it it seems like a lot of you will be there's this up and down kind of thing yeah your partner might come around the person that you're dealing with they come around every now and then they're in and out they might tease you some and you'll play this game but it seems like to me that you don't want to play um anymore and it seems like you're a bit more serious than they are um maybe you do need to lighten up and just allow them to do whatever they're doing doesn't mean you have to accept it but yeah after you take it all in and they continue to do these things maybe at the end when they come back and they want to be serious then you want to play and you don't want to play any more of those games you want to move on you know so i feel like you have to give them fair warning and let them know you know how you might be feeling and then see how things go with you in the month of august so you know as you go through the month you might follow that timeline and see might what might happen in your situation but i do send you lots of love lots of light tons of healing vibes i wish you the best and you can always go to psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you okay have a good one